Matt Holliner. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. It is 612 and be thankful even though it was a hot Easter Sunday for us. Look at what was so many in the country were dealing with yesterday. These are all storm reports in just the last 24 hours. And so these are all reports of damaging wind, hail, flooding, tornadoes. And just look how many places saw that from eastern Texas on and up into parts of Kansas, all across Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. I mean, it was it was a mess, you know, and it was already such a strange Easter Sunday yesterday and to have to deal with severe weather on top of it, uh, just a sad situation, especially where those tornadoes occurred. And I tell you what, there's still a good chance of severe weather where that cold front hasn't quite made it today. We already had those reports of severe weather in North Carolina and South Carolina, western parts of the state, but now the eastern parts of North and South Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, all the way up into New York and yes, into Florida have a chance for seeing more damaging wind, more hail and yes, possibly more tornadoes. Meanwhile, it's going to be a dry day here in the valley and I think a much more enjoyable day as well because it's going to be cooler. Now, cloud cover wise though, it's going to be very similar to yesterday. A sunny start today, with maybe just a few wispy clouds around. And it's going to be a struggle to see much cloud cover today. Not much wind this morning, but it is going to be breezy this afternoon. We're going to have comfortable humidity throughout the day and highs are only going to be around 80 degrees. Notice by seven o'clock this evening, a few more clouds trying to stream in, stream in here, but I still think it's going to be mostly sunny. No rain chance during the day today, but look at late tonight, how a couple little green dots try and pop up about 2 a.m. tonight. If there's a best chance of rain, it's probably early tomorrow morning, a little bit more green showing up, but certainly lots of gaps out there. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, so it's going to be mostly cloudy to start the day tomorrow. There's going to be a few showers around and there could be some patchy fog, I mean, mainly light fog. I'm think it's going to be tough for any dense fog to form, but there could be some light fog in spots early tomorrow morning, but it's not going to be an all day situation. Look at noon, how there's still cloud cover around, but the rain is gone. And then by the time we get to seven o'clock in the evening tomorrow, now there's not even much cloud cover. So eventually skies will become mostly sunny again, but I do think it's going to start mostly cloudy tomorrow with a little bit of rain and a little bit of fog before mostly sunny skies return in the afternoon. And look at these temperatures again. Uh, I know it's not chilly weather, but compared to yesterday, this is a lot cooler. It's only gonna be 80 today instead of 101 yesterday. Sunny in the morning, mostly sunny in the afternoon, a breezy afternoon as well with gusts around 20 miles per hour. Another cool one tonight, lows around 62. I think just mostly clear skies early, but late tonight it will become mostly cloudy. About a 10% chance of catching some showers. Could be some patchy fog in spots as well. Again, that's what patchy means. It's not going to be everywhere, but there could be fog in spots late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Winds just 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, a touch cooler, 79, a high of just 79 with that mostly cloudy start today with a 10% chance of showers in the morning. Eventually, skies will become mostly sunny and we will have comfortable humidity. Let's look ahead to next week, and I know it's just Monday, but we always want to keep you informed of what the weekend forecast is looking like. I do think both Saturday and Sunday are going to be humid again. The humidity will be back, it looks like, for the weekend. Mostly cloudy both days, isolated showers and storms both days. I think a little bit more on Sunday, though, versus Saturday, and I think Sunday will be warmer, 84 on Saturday. 90 on Sunday, but the reason why we have that slightly better chance of rain Sunday is another cold front, not, probably not a strong one, but one that may cool us down and drop the humidity again for next Monday on your first one five AccuWeather forecast. More news right after the break.